Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated on the forecast. First of all, we're going to have plenty of sunshine today, so keep the sunglasses handy. And the afternoon rush is going to be dry as well, though clouds will be starting to increase by then. Your Friday evening plans are dry as well. It's not until right after midnight that we see an explosion of snow across the area. It's going to become widespread, continuing into the morning hours. Notice it starts to get a little more splotchy at that point, but don't let your guard down because mid-afternoon, as the low passes by, we get that northeast wind coming off of Lake Huron. We're going to generate a pretty solid band of light to moderate snow. That's going to come through the area late afternoon, and once that peels off, snow ends, and our Saturday evening plans will be dry. What's on the ground is going to be it. And as far as what's on the ground, well, we're going to have one to two inches of snow uh, on average across the area. That band I just told you about, that could drop some extra snow in some spots that could push a few isolated areas up to around three inches. So don't be surprised if a couple of you, especially to the north, end up with three inches. But for most of us, we're looking at an inch or two. On the snow meter, this is just going to be a slight nuisance. I mean, no rush hour is going to be impacted. We're really not looking at any trouble from it, except if you're doing some holiday shopping. I mean, certainly the big snowstorms are when you start having to stay in with pizza and beer and you have a baby boom and stuff like that. This is just, just a little bit of a nuisance snow, and the kids can go out and play in it tomorrow. No big deal. All right, 32 the high temperature this afternoon, but it's going to be a breezy one, and with the winds that are out there, that 32 is going to feel like 20. Now, the snow develops after midnight. We just talked about that. 24 degrees, the overnight low. Sunday now is looking like a dry day. Uh, clouds will be increasing, so mostly cloudy, but still a dry day. Uh, another chance for snow on Monday. Then it gets windy and very cold Tuesday into Wednesday. Highs in the mid-20s, lows in the teens. In fact, by Wednesday morning, it would not surprise me if some areas are actually in the single numbers for actual lows.